Target. <laughs> this is awkward. All right. Uh, <laughs> It's Jamie here and welcome back to my channel Reviews by Jamie. So today I'm going to be showing you some really easy but fun Halloween treats and these are all using pretzels. So I decided to do something like this because a lot of times when I have to make like a quick Halloween treat it can be a pain and you're like what do I make? I want something like easy but I also want it to be cute and I saw a lot of really cute like little pretzel recipe ideas out for Halloween. So there were so many it was really hard to narrow it down but I I decided to pick some, um, what did I pick? Some little like peanut butter, chocolate covered pretzel pumpkins, and then also some, a couple different ones with mummies, a candy corn one, and then some ghosts. So they're all using pretzels, and I think that pretty much anybody can do this. You don't have to be a great cook or even a good cook. I really think this is a good one maybe even kids can participate in. So I am just going to get right into the little recipe demo, and then I'll go ahead and give you my opinion on how everything turned out. So let's get into the recipes. So after washing your hands and pretending that you're very athletic, go ahead and measure out your peanut butter. You can use as much as you want to. I'm using half a cup. Just make sure you use the same amount of peanut butter as you use of the powdered sugar coming up. So then go ahead and put this into a microwave safe bowl and then you'll just kind of stir it out and then heat it up for 30 seconds so that it melts a little bit. In between love's the last place I'm falling. If you just waited one more night, you may so go ahead and put your powdered sugar in with the peanut butter. Just make sure that it's the same amount of powdered sugar as you used of peanut butter. And then stir it all together until it's totally blended like this. Go ahead and set down your pretzels. I kind of picked a random amount, but it was actually the perfect amount. And then just fill them with peanut butter. I kind of guesstimated on how much to put in. Just pretty much depends how much you like of peanut butter in there. So just kind of peanut butter them all up. Oh, and I put down wax paper so they wouldn't stick. And then I just kind of pressed them down into it and put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes. So after you take them out of there, go ahead and melt some orange candy melts, or you can use white chocolate with orange food coloring in it. And then, yeah, just go ahead and melt those, stir them up, and you can start dipping your peanut butter pretzels into there. It can be a little bit tricky, but I mean, it still works, it's just your hands might get a little messy, so make sure you wash them again. And then I took these little, like, green sprinkles, they were in a little mix, and they're shaped like bones, and I used them as the stem, so put that in while the orange candy is still melt it so that it sticks or you can use like green M&Ms or anything else green in there and then go ahead and set it on the wax paper and then you'll take some kind of blue it was called cookie icing oh it's not blue it's black I took the black one and I just used a toothpick to draw faces on them and then as you can see I used the sprinkles to decorate some other ones with just plain chocolate too and then of course stick those into the fridge so that they can harden so I'm going to be making two different mummy ones. So for this one, just set down a few of the little small pretzel twists and go ahead and melt some white chocolate in the microwave. And then I'm taking just a Ziploc bag and cutting off the corner really small and then I'm going to put the melted white chocolate in there so I can kind of frost the pretzels with it easily. Rebound girl, you did what you had to do. So make sure that the white chocolate is near the hold, you can kind of twist it. And then go ahead and just draw a few stripes on here. At first it was a little tricky, as you can see there was a little spinning action. But there's really no wrong way to do this. And just with practice you can get it, and even if it doesn't look perfect, it still comes out cute. To the next flame, if you just waited one more night, you may well be by my side. Too bad the 
timing wasn't right You helped me move on with my life See, I got better at it as time went on. And then go ahead and, oh, that was messed up. <laughs> then go ahead and take these candy eyeballs. I think they're so cute. Just dab a little white chocolate on it and just press them on there like in between the white chocolate lines. And they're all set. I hate to admit the next ones are using pretzel rods and sorry that I'm blocking me putting this on but you pretty much do the same thing as you did on the smaller ones but just go down the whole way and it's actually a lot easier and as you saw the eyeballs do not really fit on here so I decided to try to make my own so I put down little dots of white chocolate for the eyes and then I went ahead and took the black cookie frosting and with a toothpick I just dabbed it right on top of there and I thought it made for some pretty cute eyes and now that these are done, you can go ahead and put these in the fridge to harden as well. So for these candy corn pretzels, you're just going to go ahead and dip the rods into white chocolate. And you can go about halfway down. I was actually first dipping it into a cup of white chocolate, but it seemed a little easier, more spread out on the plate, so I did it that way. And then I just let these kind of cool down a little bit, and then I went ahead and melted the orange candy melts. And then I dipped this again, but not covering all of the white chocolate, but about half of the white chocolate. One more night, you may well be by my side. Too bad the timing wasn't right. You helped me move on with my life. And then I just took these yellow sprinkles and while the orange was still wet, I went ahead and put them right at the tip of the orange part. And let these harden and you have candy corn ones. You hit the spot, but I don't plan on texting short term for sure. These ghosts were so easy to make. I actually had already dipped the white chocolate on them. And then I'm just taking my toothpick into the, well, my arm looks like it's going to go into the black icing. But I just draw little ghost faces with my toothpick using the cookie icing. And that's really it. And then you just let all of these harden and you can display them however you want to. I just want to give my overall opinion. First of all, everything was really simple, easy to do. I really enjoyed making everything and I think like every single thing I made could be something easy to do that anybody else could make too. Also, to top it off, they all look really cute, I thought. First with the peanut butter pretzel -y pumpkins, I thought they turned out really good. They were a little bit hard for me to dip. Actually, everything was kind of hard for me to dip into the chocolate. I'm not sure why. I mean like, I don't know, maybe I wasn't using the proper container, maybe, I don't really know, but I still, I still thought they came out really cute, and I love the little, like, drawing on them with the toothpick, I kind of like them all, you could always make an assortment of things, but I think, like, my favorite, because of taste, would be the peanut butter pumpkin pretzel things, because they were really good, I really couldn't stop eating them, and I thought they tasted the best. They probably took the most work out of everything, but even then it was pretty easy. You know, you could bag these up in like clear cellophane bags, put a little ribbon around it, put some of them in there and just hand them out to people, like friends or coworkers or family or something, or you go to a party, you bring them over. So I really liked everything. I really recommend you guys trying these out on your own. And if you do, let me know, Instagram a picture or tweet me. So I'm gonna put all of my links down below and go ahead and find me on there. And of course, if you make anything, definitely tag me in it or show me so that I can take a peek and I will see you guys later thanks for watching and more videos to come bye if you just waited one more night you may well be by my side too bad the timing wasn't right